We're out here at the zoo today and I'm so excited to be back. As a kid, my parents brought me here all the time, but what I didn't realize is we never had to pay to get in. Like us, three million people a year visit the zoo without paying any admission. If we don't pay, who does? Actually, I think that it's nice that there's no admission fee. The zoo doesn't charge admission because it is funded by the Metropolitan Zoological Park Museum District. Taxpayers in St. Louis City and County are the primary supporters of four other institutions. The St. Louis Art Museum, the Missouri Botanical Gardens, the Missouri History Museum, and the St. Louis Science Center. Well, I reckon it depends on your tax base here in St. Louis. Okay. I mean, if you've got a great tax base and you can afford to do it, that's fine. If you can't afford to do it, maybe you ought to charge something. When the tax district was founded in 1972, the people of St. Louis City and County made up the majority of the population in the greater St. Louis area. However, today they account for less than half, but are still the only ones paying the tax. Do people think that's fair? No. No, I don't think so. I think everybody should chip me in if everybody gonna be here. Everybody loves the zoo, and they like not having to pay an admission fee. We have two, two zoos in Chicago, and one is uh, no fee and one is a fee. And I think that it's nice because there's other things in the zoo that do cost money, and, you know, we did do those today, and I figured maybe those can go towards okay. things in the zoo. So, like, an admissions fee? Uh, not really, because this is... <laughs> It's already cost to do things in the zoo, so I think, I don't think it should be charged to get into the zoo. Okay. But the fact is, somebody does have to pay for it. So maybe it's time for St. Louis City and County to reconsider the outdated taxing district.